Good day folks. Um, I've just brought the GoPro out. Don't know what I'm doing really, I was just bored at home. I've uh, left my kai and driven out about 30 k's to the road that goes from Mackay to Seaforth. And I'll just go for a drive around and look at bits and pieces and show you as well. Uh, my first stop is the big granite dome between Mackay and Seaforth they call Mount Dukes and the associated Mount Blackwood and I'll give you a look at that anyway it's just in front of me yeah there's a dome in there We'll go down, might poke down along that road there and uh, poke into a few of the creek lines if I can. Take a look. Okay, found a little creek. We'll go for a bit of a walk up and down that and have a look. Bit of a climb getting down here through the grass. But I'm down here. It's a nice spot. Alright, we'll take a look. I've got my hiking boots on so don't have any accidents. Oops. And there's the car just up in there. I'll just climb down the bank. Nice little tropical creek. That rock over there looks interesting. Go over and have a look. Almost looks out of place here. It sounds out of place. When you're out scratching up rocks, never forget to look in places like this either. Just in case the smaller um, wash areas. When the, when the creeks are dominated by large volcanic rocks like this, sometimes this can be a collection point for the smaller interesting items. Mozzies are biting me.
but not today. Basalt. more basalt well there's not that much here <coughs> just repeat dominated by a light brown volcanic this one basalt and a few others that's it I'll take a chip off of this massive Rock outcrop. Yeah, this seems to be the dominant rock. This light brown volcanic. And check this out. <coughs> bird's nest fern growing right up on the top of the rock sit perch there almost washed away still grabbing on little pool and man leaves his sign there to say I've been here A bit of a rope hanging in the tree there. Kids must swim here when it's in the wet season when she's full of water. Alright, heading back to the car. Crinum lilies, a nice plant. A lot of people grow them in their gardens, they're native to this area. They flower with a white, uh, if I remember, spidery flower. And um, little onions come on them, and you plant the onions and they, and they shoot. This might get me out of here. We go further down the road towards the coast. Folks, they just pulled up at Seaforth, coastal town, about 40 or 40 something k's north of Mackay. 
just pulled up here to buy my lunch because it's lunch time I want to show you these trees here They're pretty damn big yeah, the GoPro probably doesn't really show the scale of them so we'll walk over them and have a look they're cowrie pines they usually grow in sort of forested areas even rainforest but man likes to plant them in where there's room in parklands and here at Seaforth there are several of them one over there in the distance let's go and have a closer look really give you a sense of the scale. Maybe this does. See how big they are. At a certain time in the year the seeds fall down here. And they're easily when they're when they're in the, at the right time of the year they're easily collected and they sprout quite easily. I've, I've grown a handful of them. There's a wing. They're a wing seed. Yeah. The seeds usually. I don't think the seeds on that. I can't quite remember. They're also a really nice timber when, when it's milled. tree next to it the Queenslanders will know mango tree <laughs> favorite fruit by a lot of people in the tropics it's quite a while till they're ripe yet but this one's got the green mangoes on it 